Hey guys, in this video I will be having uh, all the heroes that I have, pretty much, that are viable, will be fighting Diana. Here is the first one, the Harp guy. I forget what his name is. We'll find out after the fight who's going to win this one. This one should be interesting. Diana closes the distance quickly, slashing with her sword. The man is just playing his harp and it's not very effective. All of a sudden he does some damage, but Diana is just all over him. It looks like this is going to be over, my friends. He's swinging with the harp, playing some music, and down he goes. Minstrel Dante is down. Okay, well, Diana's a formidable opponent, yes? Let's see how she does against Plank. She quickly closes the distance and begins slashing away. He's made of metal, but it doesn't seem to matter. And he does not look like he can hurt her. He's a large machine. Her swords are just slicing him to pieces. Here comes his special. It hit the ground there, and that's about, that's all she wrote. Jungle Hunter Diana with the W. All right, round three. We have Tree of Green. This one should be an interesting one. Can she out damage his healing ability? That is the question here. She slices, she dices. And it does not look like she can keep up with the healing ability of Mr. Tree of Green. And he just begins to pummel her with his, uh, with his little hand things. Slicing and dicing. It's just too much. He goes into the ground and plants himself and comes out with more green. Diana's all over him, but it looks like it's just a little a matter of time here, my friends, before the slicing and dicing is just not enough. Tree of green. He's just a brute in there, and it looks like he's right-handed by the by the look of things here. He's just uh, swinging away with that right hand, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, plants a few little flowers there in the ground just for fun, and it looks like we're going to have a champion here. And Oh, I have two times speed. What am I doing, guys? I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry about that. I was like, my golly. That shouldn't have taken that long. Okay, hurry up. Hurry it up. Let's get this over with. There we go. Down she goes. In flames of glory. And our next opponent for Diana is Hohenheim. This could be a fun one. Let's get ready to rumble. There they go. Oh, and Diana slash Hohenheim actually doing some damage. He's got some uh, coins flying through the air, and the slashing continues. I am actually not sure who's beating who right now, and someone's going to lose, though. And down goes Hohenheim as jungle hunter Diana. I guess training and living in the jungle has its advantages, yes. Anyways, here comes, uh, what was it, Lord Kelvins or something like that. The shields are not up, but he looked like he was going to put up a shield. The slicing and dicing continues as Diana's just going off on him. But he's got a sword too, and he's got a horse that looks angry and dark. I mean, if you're just looking at appearances, this guy's got a really cool look. Unfortunately, his back is turned. And uh, most of these guys appear to be right-handed. There we go. And she wins again. Okay, well. Good for her. Jungle Hunter Diana. Can she beat Mr. Bushido Blade Sakura, whatever the guy's name is? I think so. But it's a sword fight. The slashing, the hacking. Flowers flying through the air. But it's over, my friends. Jungle Hunter Diana is just uh, just a beast in there, guys. Um, 
All right. Can she beat a werewolf, though? She beat several other guys. But can she beat a werewolf? Here he comes. He slashes. He slices. He dices. He stuns. This could be it for our hero, my friends. Look at him. He's fierce. He's fierce for sure. Yeah, this is going to be a close one. He's really just all over. And then suddenly, we're going to have a champion, and it's... Oh, the werewolf. The werewolf with the W, my friend. That was a close battle there, but... Never fight a werewolf when death is on the line. Here's Winterlord Ains. He almost beat Davison. I think he's going to have no problem beating Diana. And holy cow, they, that guy hits like a mother. Hubbard in a cupboard. Yeah. Wow, he uh, really packs a punch there. All right, here comes a girl fight. We have Cassandra versus Diana. She can really stun. Diana closes the distance quickly. Cassandra trying to keep the distance with her cards, but it's just not working. Diana is just dude, getting in and using those swords effectively. The cards cannot protect Cassandra, and it looks like it's going to be over. Down she goes. And who is our next fighter? Let's get ready to rumble. It's Mr. Christmas Tree. And here he goes. This could be an interesting fight. He can really, uh, he got packs a punch with that Christmas tree, guys. And looks like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's going to get the best of it. That first one really did a lot of damage. Here comes the second one. Let's see if he can really get a good shot in there. Boom. Man, that does really, I think that might have been it, guys. And he just beat her down with the Christmas tree. You don't see that every day, guys. I mean... All right, well, who's next? Did he fight this uh, Minotaur dude monster thing yet? I don't think so. Let's see how it goes down. He charges. He stuns. And he's going to work with that little pitchfork thing, guys. He's got a, you know, we'll see how this one goes down. He's really stabbing fast. She's got two swords. Maybe not... Uh, able to cut through that thick leather hide i don't know we're gonna find out here guys it's anybody's battle right now here comes his special did he do it i don't know if he did it or not are they both gonna kill each other oh my goodness it doesn't get much closer than that all right another victory for uh, jungle hunter diana and who is next well well what are we do okay it looks like it's illum here we go. She charges across the distance, striking and slicing. The, the portal opens up and strikes her down, but it's not enough. Loom just wants to read his book, looks like, and she just wants to have a little bit of... Wow, that's it's got the coolest effect of the special, so I gotta, I gotta say that, guys. Down he goes. It doesn't matter how cool your effects are if you can't block a sword, I guess. So that's it for him. All right, who is next? It's Robin Hood and not his Merry Men. Okay, he might do better if he had some Merry Men. There's an arrow shot that just really didn't do anything. Pretty pathetic, if you ask me. But maybe it's got some staying power because he's... Looks like he's trying. He's backpedaling, trying to throw some arrows... It's really tough to shoot arrows at someone that's just slicing up with a sword, though. And uh, this could be it for our hero. Probably not going to rob from the rich to pay the poor any longer. But it was a good try. And that's about it for him. Or is it? Yes, it is. Okay, the Diana's not doing too bad, guys. Not too shabby. Okay, who is next? Uh, we Mosh. Let's see. This could be interesting. If he calls down the meteor and just... Uh, but it's just too much. I think he's uh, not dressed for the occasion. Um, he doesn't even have any eyes. So, I mean, this is, this is not really a fair fight, guys. Uh, we just... 
picking on someone that can't even see, you know? It's, a, it's not what I call a fair fight, but uh, we, that went kind of as expected. All right, our next fighter is going to be none other than Blackbeard Edward the Pirate. Here he goes. He throws a bottle at her. Clearly been in a numerous bar fights, this guy. Even has a bottle with him currently. There he is. He's got a peg leg. He's got a claw. And I, man, little heart's coming around. He's just a happy old guy. Doesn't matter. Diana is just all business here, guys. And, uh, man, she just took him, took him to task. And that's what she does. She's a hero killer, guys. All right, we're going to start getting into the serious heroes here. And I think the, the, the tides are going to change. Can she beat... How about a level 4 uh, Poseidon just attacks fiercely, rolling through? And no, it's not even close. I know, I know. That's not fair. Not fair at all. Who's next? Uh, poor Poseidon. Who will avenge Poseidon? It'll be none other than the queen of Scylla, Siondiak. Here comes the heels. Siondiak is not much of a damage dealer. This one's going to be a little while. So I'm going to do the two times speed there. And can Diana out damage the heels of Siondiak is the question. Because Siondiak is just pathetic when it comes to doing damage she's pretty much helpless i i don't know maybe a it would be interesting to see if she could get out damaged by by a scholar okay the fight is going off screen here guys um by the looks of it siandiak's able to heal herself all the way but the damage is just so incredibly slow, it's going to take a while, I think. So, where are they? Come back to the screen here, please. It'd be nice if you guys would, uh, you know, kind of join the battle here. That heal is just able to heal up all her health that she loses, even though Diana's really going off on her there. Um... Yeah, it'd be nice if we could see here. I'm not going to give this one too much longer. It'd be nice if I could see what uh, Diana's health is currently. Uh, probably close to death would be my guess by now. You would think that Siondiak was able to uh, do that some damage. Hello? And it's just... Okay, we have ourselves a winner, and it's Siondiak. Uh, Diana, almost 300,000 damage, but not 300,000 damage enough. And here we go. We are hitting the big time now. Uh, can she beat Zeus? I'm going to say no. Oh my gosh, it's over. That's like the equivalent of like just running into a uh, a haymaker right at the start of the fight there okay and Allie versus Diana I'm thinking we're gonna see a nuke here and down she goes yes indeed that was quick start playing with the big boys and you're gonna have some problems okay how about Drake this one should be interesting He's got that little damage thing that he does. Even Diana's whipping away on him, but he's just its going to be a little bit too much for her, I think. And Drake gets the W. Drake's another one that could use a boost, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, he's just not competitive. Okay, a Kraken. He's level 12, but he's got the, he's got the stuns. He's got the uh, whirlwinds. He's got the tentacles of terror. He's got the... He's got the fierce beard. He's got the mustache. He's got everything working for him. And he's able to just kind of nullify her attacks. And there's the beatdown, guys. Nicely done with the Kraken. Alrighty. 
How about Mephesto? Is that Mephesto there? He's level nine. Let's give him a shot. See if he's able to uh, take her out here. It looks like she's just going to town on him though. And not even sure what Mephesto did, but he lost. Thought he might be able to hold his own, but no, he wasn't able to. And we're gonna have Celine. It's a girl fight of the century. Celine does a nice stun on her. And really immobilized. That stun is just, wow, gets up another one and it's over. Wow, Celine was like, no, you're not even gonna move. I'm just gonna dominate you. And that was it. Okay, now we have Arthur, and we all know how this one's going to go, guys. It's just going to be just a complete and utter beatdown. Arthur is just a beast. He's difficult to hurt, and it's over. That's, that's all she wrote, my friends. Who's the next contender in the Price is Right? Fought Ivan. This could be an interesting one. Ivan uh, comes in with his... With his the blast and is able to silence his prey and that's it it's all over my friends okay that goes as expected draculia can she be dracula with his little bats i don't think so here they come and they're angry they're sucking the blood but she's doing some damage my goodness she's really taking it to him Wow, that was a lot closer than I thought. I mean, who won? Did they both die? But she won. Wow, okay. So, interesting fight there. Maybe his bats were alive to claim the trophy for him. Um, who's next? Uh, should we have Apollo in there? He's 11. Why not, right? Just why not? Oh, his little star power thing. Uh, she just avoided it. And in she comes, slashing and slicing, dicing and dicing, slicing and slicing and slicing and dicing. He's got, like, little stars flying around him and stuff. He's got his arrow, but it's not enough. She's like, no, you're done, dude. Trims off his beard with her swords. Okay, who's next? Oh, Harrison. Well, we all know how this one's going to end. He is just going to beat the living tar out of her. And there's a one shot. And another stun. And that's all she wrote, my friends. Harrison, no joke. Okay, who's next? Who is going to be next? Um, looks like it is another girl fight. We have Chion. And here comes the ice. Puts her on ice. Chiona doesn't really do a lot of damage. She kind of relies on the other uh, people to do damage for her. But she can keep people on ice and do kind of keep them stunned a little bit. So, boom. Diana pushing her back into a corner. That's where she might have the advantage. But looks like Chiona is just going to win this one. And yes, she does. That's another W. Okay, who is next? Who haven't we done? We've done Davison before. And he destroys her. Here we go. It's gin time. Okay, this one can be interesting. Gin can stun, so he can do some damage there. The stun has a little... Latent effect that he's slapping around with that lamp is really doing doing a thing there. So okay, wow, down she goes. You know, since it is a Diana video, I'm going to put Davison in there just for the heck of it, so we can watch the uh, the beat down. Here we go. And swooping down, destroying. One more girl fight for the road, guys. It's Allie. And I think we know how this one's going to go down. Here comes the nuke. And... Just doesn't really stand a chance. So, alright, my friends. That's this one 
hero battles uh, for Diana. Thanks for watching. I'll try to upload some more of these, try and get them all done. It's kind of fun videos. And I'll see you next time.